first. Welcome to Firewall Ultra. My name is Frank and I'm your community manager. Today, we'll be going over the basic controls in Firewall Ultra. This is the safe house, your new home away from home. Let me show you around. Over there is the black road where you can spend crypto to buy new weapons, attachments, and equipment, and camos. There will be more coming soon, so make sure to check back often. This is your main lobby space where you can pick game modes, swap contractors, change your loadouts, and hang out with new friends. Now, before I show you more, let's go over basic movement. Use your left stick to move around and your right stick to rotate the camera. We offer both smooth and snap turning options. If you hold down the L3, you can run. And if you press R3 while running, you can slide. And if you stand still and press it, you'll crouch. If you have any questions about basic controls or movements, please don't hesitate to ask. Now, let's head over to the shooting range. Now, you can't shoot your weapons in the lobby unless you're at the range. So let's head over to one of the stalls now. Okay, time to check out the new ADS system. Now this is something we're really proud of and have been working to get just right. I found the best way to demonstrate this is by holding your head perfectly still and looking at one of the targets. Next, raise your weapon and press the L2 button. Notice that you're now aiming down sights with the reticle centered where you were looking before. If you let go of the L2 button, it'll snap back to where you were previously. Now, keep your head in the same position, look at a different target and press the L2 button again you'll notice that your aim sensitivity and weapon control will be much more focused while in this mode. The system uses your eye placement upon initialization and then instantly gives you complete control over your weapon. You can also fire your weapon by grabbing it with two hands and using the L1 button, or you can even fire one-handed. We're really looking forward to your feedback on the gunplay, so please make sure to shout it from the rooftops. Next up, I'm also excited to show you our new melee system. But first, let's learn how to swap weapons. If you press the circle button, you'll bring up the weapon wheel, and from here, all you need to do is look at the weapon or gear you want selected, and then let go of the circle button to equip. You can also quickly press the circle button to swap back to your primary weapon or swap to your melee weapon. You now have full control over the knife and can either physically stab something or press the R2 trigger to initiate a stab animation. Finally, let's learn how to toss a grenade. Like before, hold down the circle button, but this time select a grenade. Once in hand, press the R2 button to pull up the arc, use your eyes to decide where you'd like to toss it, and then let go of the R2 button to toss a grenade. Some grenades also allow you to cook them beforehand, which is done by holding the R1 button after pressing R2. Now, before we leave, a few other things. First and foremost, please don't forget to properly calibrate your eye tracking. It will make a huge difference. You'll notice you can even walk up to your friends and watch their eyes move and blink in real time. You can also stop the effects of a flashbang by closing your eyes and covering them with your hand. Pressing options will also open up the main menu, which is also eye tracked and will be your jumping off spot for getting into the action. Now, in our next video, we'll be going over everything in that main menu. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you soon in Firewall Ultra and make sure to stay tuned for more videos like this.